I started a new Clash Royale account to see how many trophies I could get on it by only using air troops. So I beat the in-game tutorial and started my pushing. The only flying card I had at this point was minions, and I expected to slowly get more air cards as I pushed through the arenas over time. But I hit Bone Pit really quickly, and when I reached level 4 and opened my King's Level Up chest, this happened. Oh, I just got Baby Dragon! I was like, level four, there's no way. All right, well, that has to go in the deck then. I didn't expect to get Baby Dragon for a while because it's an epic card, but that was so clutch because it meant I could start upgrading it early. So it took another hour of pushing before I unlocked my next air card. I reached Barbarian Ball and eventually unlocked the only air card in this arena. Oh, here we go, Mega Minion. So now that must go in the deck. Now we've got two sets of minions. I'm gonna take out Musky, level five. That's not bad. Might even be able to get it to the next level. Yes, sir, because I'm gonna have these cards for the rest of the challenge. I may as well put my wild cards into them early investing my dudes and two hours in i already reached a thousand trophies with three air cards so far but oh man that was about to change there we go and now we've reached it okay whenever i reached a new arena i would open chests in the pass royale to try and get the newest air card i can unlock from the new arena i just reached and at pekka's playhouse i unlocked my fourth air card which already meant that half my deck was air cards not including spells there we go okay skelly drags unlocked they must go in the deck skelly drags going in wow then another 20 minutes of pushing later i reached spell valley that's it baby spell valley okay we can get bats in this arena then i unlocked a lot of my pass royale chests and was able to make some major upgrades to the flying troops currently in my deck as well as unlock and level up my bats do we get bats there we go okay now we got bats and actually got some mega minions now we can get mega minion up a level let's go again level eight and we got to put bats in the deck oh and level six all right please give me bats in this chest Oh, I got Skelly Drags and Baby Dragon. Oh my God. That means Baby Dragon can now go to level nine. Yeah, so I can get level nine Baby Dragon, level seven Skelly Drags. I'm gonna put bats in for arrows because I have so much splash now. Wow, that was some major upgrades there. I still had some ground cards in my deck at this point. So I was making the most of Giant as basically my win condition. The strat was to play all my air units, defend, and then play a Giant to tank for everything. But eventually I was playing against too many Witches and Wizards. So I actually replaced it. Which is the worst. So bad, in fact, that I almost want to put in Valk and take out Giant. Because without arrows, I feel like I need a card like that. We're doing it. Screw it. It's ironic that when I reached Spell Valley, I wasn't playing any spells. And my deck only had three ground cards left at this point. So I pushed for another 20 minutes and reached Builder's Workshop. Which meant I could unlock Flying Machine. But more importantly, the Balloon. Which was going to be a game changer. Oh, we hit Builder's Workshop. But I'm blurry. So, yeah, that's really cool. And 100 trophies later, I unlocked the Flying Machine from Trophy Road. All right. Flying Machine. We have to play it. And I've been saving some rare wild cards for this bad boy. Although, this is probably going to make my deck even weaker now. Now, around 1,800 trophies is where this challenge started to get difficult. I had limited ground cards with no spells, and I was going against these anti-air troops like Wizard and Witch with Goblin Barrel as their win condition. So annoying, I'm not going to lie. Yep, and there's another one. Cool, now we reset for round two of what he just did. A oh, really, really clever thing you did there, mate. It's actually dead? I don't believe it. The witch died? Flying machine on the tower. Okay, flying machine is kind of the MVP at the moment. Okay, let's go. He used his arrows. This is our only chance. Flying machine on the tower. Come on. Bring it home. That's it. Bring it home for daddy. So let's go, baby. That was a big win. And with no real win condition at this point, I was not sure how I was going to keep pushing if I didn't get a win condition fast. But thank God in this arena, the only other air card I could unlock proved to be probably one of the most important cards for this whole challenge. Balloon unlocked. There we go. Okay, now we put it in the deck for another card. Balloon needs to go in for either Valkyrie or Skeleton Army. Valk because it's lower than Skami. Okay, yeah, that's a good enough reason. Balloon is now in the deck for Valk. And after unlocking some more Pash Royale tiers, I was even able to get my Balloon to level 8, which was high for the trophies I was at. Now, Balloon can go to level eight. That is epic. Okay, very nice. Even though I had to take out Valkyrie, which was my second last ground unit, Balloon is such a great win condition to have, and now I didn't need to just spam a bunch of flying support units behind a mini tank. And this was my very first game using Balloon. Just gotta hit him with that split lane pressure, baby. Surround the wizard? Ish. Go on, Balloon. On the tower. That's two. Make it three. Make that four. <laughs> okay, very nice. All right, we're going for another one. Hopefully he misses his rocket. Level eight balloon is deadly. He's not hitting both. Yep. 
That's tower. Nice, made him waste his elixir anyway. Yeah. The guy had rocket and wizard, but was still no match for my Sigma balloon. But he wasn't alone. Maybe it was just because I was playing all air, I noticed air countering cards a lot more, but it felt like every opponent was playing wizard and witch. Everyone has all of a sudden started playing witch and wizard in every single deck. Then just before 2000 trophies, I unlocked the legendary chest from Trophy Road. And I was hoping to either get Inferno Dragon or Lava Hound, because those are the two flying legendaries I can get. And also because they are both cracked and would make my deck actually goaded. Come on, this is a huge huge opportunity. I'm not sure if I can get other legendaries that I need, but it is for the legendary chest. Come on, bro. It's going to be a wild card. Okay. It's not a wild card. Come on. Inferno Dragon or Lava Hound. Why is it always minor? Did I do something wrong? Did I skip Bible studies today? I didn't need a legendary anyway. I just thought it would make things a lot easier. So I continued pushing until I was one game away from reaching 2000 trophies. And this game had a pretty crazy ending because I had no spells to finish off his tower. Come on. One hit. That's tower. Oh my god, please. One more. Are you joking? Yeah, good game. Just just stop playing, man. Trust. It's game over. I hate that he's got a building as well, because it means I can't even get death damage unless... Unless? Oh god, oh god, oh god. I know he's hovering that zap. No! I don't know how much damage that does. Please! Please! Let's go! Oh my god. Then I reached 2,000 trophies and Royal Arena. That is a dub. Royal Arena. Achieved. That's a dub, baby. Okay, so there's no air cards in this arena. No air cards in the next arena. I started to realize that there weren't actually many air cards left that I could unlock. I had been unlocking tiers in my partial row, but purposely not opening the chests and claiming the wild cards so that I could hold more. So that when I unlocked a new air card when reaching a new arena, I could just level it up as soon as I unlock it. Then I noticed that there were actually no more rare air cards in the game. So I realized I could just use all my rare wild cards to get my rare flying cards as high as I could right now. There's no more rares. I may as well just max out my mega minion and flying machine as high as I can. Then the real push began with my only ground card at this point just being skeleton army and I was fantasizing about how beautiful things would be if I actually did manage to get lava hound if I got to 3000 trophies. Hashtag foreshadowing. Okay. Imagine if I had lava hound in this deck right? Like I just defend everything I just pop a hound in front of it like that is the dream. Then five hours in I upgraded some cards not in my deck for XP so that I could finally hit level 7. Level 7! Card masteries. This is gonna be good for gold now. And we get this. Give me some flying cards. This could be huge. Okay, we're gonna get that, which is something. Then, no, no, that would have been so good if I got a rare I have in my deck. Okay, you know what? I will take that. That is massive. So I just got pretty much just gifted level nine balloon. Now, I bet you're wondering, what do I do or how do I defend if I go against Mega Knight, especially if it's over leveled? Well, here is my first game of having the pleasure of going against Mega Knight, and it's level 10. What a hoot. Yeah, that's, that's, that's really, really good. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah? Yeah, no, this is, this is a deck that people play. Yeah, 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 of course. Because why wouldn't he have the only thing that could kill both at the same time so quickly and so cost efficiently? Please. Where's the hog? 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 Barrel. Go. Go. Get the three crown. My first game against Mega Knight. Make it a three crown. So basically, I don't defend and it turns into a base race, but that was good enough for me. And five hours and 40 minutes into my Twitch stream, I hit Frozen Peak. All right, that's it. Give it to daddy. Give it to daddy. Frozen Peak. There were no air cards I could unlock in Frozen Peak, so I was still sticking with my same deck with Skeleton Army filling the last slot because I didn't have any air cards. And this trophy range was pretty difficult, and I had this intense game almost six hours in. Please? Hmm. I think he's scared to use his wizard. Okay. Okay. Is he going all in? Oh my god. Please. Please, please, please. It needs... Nah, it's not high enough level to get another hit. C 
come on. Gonna have to keep the split lane pressure up. Come on? Surely. Oh my god, let's go. That was actually such a grind. Because I had pretty much all air cards, a lot of my games turned to just sacrifice a tower and win with two towers to one because I couldn't defend a lot of troops with mainly air. So I was still grinding through Frozen Peak and shortly after reached probably my favorite looking arena being Jungle Arena. That is Jungle Arena. Poggers. Okay, that's very cool. 30 minutes of pushing into Jungle Arena and I was already beginning to struggle. My opponents had several air counters and higher level cards. I need to get two hits here. It's not going to happen. He just went for a rocket. Oh my god. Go flying machine. Please. Okay, we got more damage now. Come on. Mega Minion takes the targeting? If I can just get the death damage. He's got like a million splash air units on it. Okay. I think that's GG. Come on. Come on. Don't rocket. Three, two, one. Please. Oh my god. Okay. Nah, easiest win of my life. That was a good one. At the start of my stream, I named my account KFC Flies because I had air troops, but I finally corrected my mistake and gave the account its proper name six hours and 40 minutes in. KFC Wings is the new name. There we go. Seven hours of pushing later, I was 100 trophies away from 3k, and every game I was literally versing Mega Knight, which was so stupid, but this was by far the most clutch game I had played yet because I was convinced I had lost. Oh God, here we go. No, it's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. Go, balloon. Anything. Distract. Please. Please. Oh, my God. Please, 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 please. Before he gets the log down. <laughs> So let's go. Oh my god. I did not expect to win that. The final stretch for 3,000 trophies was brutal, and I was playing Mega Knight and all sorts of weird decks every game. And this was another ending that I was convinced I had lost. Uh-oh. Did I just lose? I just lost. Wait. Unless the Mega Minion... Come on! Oh my god. Okay. No, that wasn't close. It took ages for me to get out of Jungle Arena, but finally I was able to string together some wins and reach Hog Mountain and 3,000 trophies. Hog Mountain has now been achieved. 3,000 were safe. Now we can unlock Minion Horde, which means we can finally unlock these Partial Royale tiers. So I had been saving up so many Partial Royale tiers for when I reached Hog Mountain, which was part of the reason I was struggling quite a bit on that final stretch in Jungle Arena, because I had low card levels. But now I was finally going to open all my chests because I could now unlock Minion Horde, replace it for Skeleton Army, and finally have a full air deck. Oh, there we go. Minion Horde unlocked. Okay, I just got 45 bats in that chest as well. So that's actually going to put bats up a level. That's Pog. And now we have Minion Horde, the final card. Skarmy. Goodbye. Okay, bang, bang, bang. Oh, just got Minion Hordes in the chest. That's level six now. That's Minion Horde now, level seven. Level nine flying machine. There it is. Okay, 5k gold. Do have this special wild card chest. Oh, what's it gonna be? Please be a Inferno Dragon or a Lava Hound. <sighs> okay, please. Lava Hound or Inferno Dragon. Yes! I don't know if I'm even going to play this, but we got Lava Hound. I think I replaced these. They're the lowest level card. So I'm going to get Lava Hound up a level. I mean, I may as well. Level 10 Lava Hound now. That is epic. Then after upgrading to level 8, I searched for my first battle above 3,000 trophies. I didn't realize when I unlocked Lava Hound how broken it would be with an all-air deck. I thought it would be a cool addition that might make things a little easier at most. Oh, no, 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 no. Just watch how my first game went. Oh, my God. Okay. Here we go. This is actually clutch. Having lava is clutch. It just tanks for everything. He had to lightning. Oh my god. And then I can go for a balloon behind this. This is going to be the three crown beast. <laughs> what? There's no way. I don't think Mega Knight's going to be too much of a problem anymore. <laughs> so I thought that game was a one-off and it wouldn't be that easy, but I was wrong. Nice. Yep. Yep. Perfect. Oh, this is, this is great. 
Where is Lava Hound been all my life? So 30 minutes of three crowning every opponent later, I had been waiting for something to complete my deck. The final infinity stone I needed to complete my gauntlet. It was the final piece to make my deck completely broken and I finally got it. That's it. Prepare yourselves for what you're about to witness. I have completed the next level of my balloons mastery, which means I get 20, which means it goes to level 10, which also means I can use my book of epics to get it to level 11. And I can use my book of books to get it level 12, but I don't actually have the gold, I don't think. So I'm going to do it anyway. And then book of books for the final tier. 50 balloons. <sighs> don't have enough gold, but we're going to start saving and then I'll probably gem it. So even though I wasn't able to complete my dream of getting level 12 balloon, level 11 still seemed pretty solid as this was my first game with it. Look at my new balloon, fresh in the arena, ready to do some havoc. And there we go. Yep, easiest three crown of my life. It was all right, I guess. But yeah, my opponents had no chance at this point, And I hit Electro Valley without even realizing. Oh, I didn't even realize. Electro Valley. Oh, let's go. Then after 30 minutes more of three crowns, I reached Spooky Town. Oh, that's it, right? That three crown against Lava Hound was 3,800. Spooky Town, baby. Then after some more three crowning, I was still holding on to the dream of getting that juicy level 12 balloon. And after claiming some more gold from Trophy Road, I thought maybe I could finally gem the rest. 3,000 gold. This is the moment of truth. We're at 3,900. Please. 408 gems. No, I can't afford it. And I won't be able to. So instead, I did my final upgrade of getting my minions to level 9. It's okay. We'll just have to get level 9 minions instead. It took me approximately 12 more minutes and I was on my final game for 4,000 trophies. And it ended pretty much the same way. Mega Knight comes down a bit late. The Lava Hound. And that's it. GG. We pretty much just three crowned every opponent for a thousand trophies from 4,000 to 5,000. And we've done it. We got the final two trophies remaining and finished to 4K. Claim reward. Okay, mastery stop so I can claim my reward. Poggers. Let's go. It's done. I think I did good chat. What do you think? Subscribe. Hey guys, I'm streaming all of these challenges live on Twitch. So if you do want to watch them live, I'm streaming it at twitch.tv slash KFC Clash. Hope to see you there.